Hi, boys and girls. We are going to continue to talk about time today. We talked about measurement for two weeks, and now we're going to continue talking about measuring time or how long something takes. Yesterday, you started to talk about time in the day. Today, we are going to focus on getting a little bit more specific, which means that we're going to start to talk about the three parts of time that we're going to see. The first of those is going to be seconds, then we're going to talk about minutes. Last, we are going to talk about hours, all right? So let's start by talking about seconds. Seconds are things that happen like this, the really, really short amount of time. They take no time at all. So let me give you an example. When I think and I say, oh, boys and girls, you have 10 seconds to come to the carpet, and I count down 10, 9, 8, all those different numbers that are I'm saying, I'm giving a second in between each of those. Seconds are short, short amounts of time. I'm going to brainstorm some things that I can do in one second. Oh, I've got it. I can jump. That took one second. Let's think of something else I can do. I can do a jumping jack. That took one second. What else can I do? Oh, I can touch my toes. That took one second. Let's think about things that you can do in one second. I want you to brainstorm for me. Hmm. What is something that you could do in just one second that you could do like this? Think about it. We're going to practice some things that we can do in one second. So when I say go, you're going to follow my directions. Take one step. That took one second. Jump one time. That took one second. Give me a jumping jack. That took one second. Touch your toes. That took one second. Now, let's start to talk about our next way that we can measure time. We're going to start to talk about something called a minute. When I take seconds and I put them together, I have 60 seconds that make one minute. So a minute, it's not a very long chunk of time, but if this is a second, a minute's a little bit bigger. We are going to think about things that you can do in one minute. So when I think about one minute or 60 of those little seconds put together, I get a time where I could brush my teeth. It usually takes me about one, maybe even two minutes to brush my teeth. Hmm. Ooh. Another thing that takes one minute is when I get dressed in the morning. It doesn't take one second. I'm not dressed in like this, but it doesn't take me a very long time either. I just pull my clothes on and it takes me about a minute. One minute. Hmm. I want you to think about what might take you one minute. Hmm. Let's brainstorm and do some things together. Let's say I wanted to walk around the whole area of my house. That might take me one minute. If you want to try, go ahead and press pause and you can try to walk around your house. See how long it takes you. You can count and see, oh, if I get to 60, if I count to 60, that's about one minute. Oh, another thing that takes about a minute is singing a song. So maybe I decide I want to sing the song, Mary Had a Little Lamb, or I want to sing the song, Baby Shark. A lot of those things just take one minute. It's not like this, but it's also not a very long chunk of time. Now let's talk about our long, big chunk of time. This is called an hour. And just like one minute had 60 little seconds inside of it, one hour, has 60 minutes inside of it. That's pretty cool, huh? Easy to remember. 60 is our magic number when it comes to time. So when I'm thinking about an hour, an hour is a pretty long, pretty long chunk of time. When you go to your reading class, you're in reading for two hours. When you are doing math, we do math for one hour at school. Lunch and recess, if we put them together, that's one hour. Let's think about some other things that take one hour or 60 full minutes to do. Hmm. I'm thinking about things that take one full hour to do. Ooh, I know. Maybe I want to read an entire Junie B. Jones book. That's probably going to take me one hour because there are lots of pages inside of it. 
hmm, what else might take me an hour? Oh, if I have to go to school and I live kind of far away, that might take me an hour to get to school. Oh, maybe I go to the park over the weekend with my family. And that might take me one full hour to do as well. Hmm. So there are so many things that we can do that are not just a second, not just one minute, but that are really long chunk of time that's one hour. I want you to think about something that you do for an hour. Maybe it's swim lessons. Maybe you play baseball or basketball or football, and that might be an hour. If you've watched a movie when we've been um, during this coronavirus, you've probably watched a movie, right? I know I have. And that's probably more than an hour. So think about some things that are about an hour. Hmm. Keep those inside of your brain because the activity you're going to be doing today is going to be thinking of some things that you can do in a second, that you can do in a minute, and that you can do in an hour. We have our three chunks of time and we're going to be working on these this week. Now the cool thing is, and tomorrow you're going to be introduced to our class. I know you've seen clocks before. A lot of the times we have clocks like I have on here where it will tell me the time by just looking at the number. But we're going to be working on using clocks and finding out what these two hands mean. We have these two hands right here. And these two hands help me to measure my different kinds of time. So this hand is my short hand and it measures my hours. So when my short hand moves to the next number, it means it's been an hour. This hand here, this long, big hand, this is my minute hand. And this minute hand, when it goes all the way around the clock, that makes one hour too. Every time that my minute hand moves one of these little blue notches, that makes one minute. So as it's going around the clock, I'm looking at it, at every single number, this is going to be one minute. When it goes all the way around, like I said, that makes a full hour. So we're going to start to talk more about our hour and our minutes as we move into the rest of this unit. Today, though, you're just focused on thinking about measuring time by thinking, hmm, what would take a second like this? What would take a minute? And what's going to take an hour? Look at the next video to help you figure out and to listen for directions about what you're going to do today. Good luck.